All right, there they are, folks. Five Indian head steel, all in the 1800s. I think that's the five. I dug one while ago. I might have got it mixed up. But anyway, that's the five that was here. And uh, right out of there. I'm going to search around a little bit more and see if we can't find any more. Let's take a picture and uh, let's keep on going. All right, I made it up to Wisconsin and I uh, went around and met everybody and got all my houses lined up. I've got uh, probably 10, 11 houses to do up here and some that I've done before. But this is the first house I'll be doing here. It's early 1900s and I've done the houses next to it. I'm actually staying just two houses up. And uh, just met this guy. He told me I can get on it. So uh, we're going to give it a whirl and see what we come up with. I'm going to be hunting with my Equinox 800 today. Be hunting with the uh, Apex later on, maybe this week. But right now I'm going to start with the uh, Equinox and see what we come up with. So I'll turn the camera on if I find anything good. Hopefully some Indian head pennies, some barber dimes, things like that. So let's get at it and let's go have some fun. All right, I got my first good signal here. Gonna be a 2021. All right, it's gonna be a 21. <clears throat> so uh, maybe it's gonna be an Indian head. Let's go down or wheat penny, one of the two. Let's go see what we, what it is. Hopefully, it's gonna be an Indian head. That's what I'm hoping for. All right, it's got a little depth to it, so that's good. Ah, check that out. That's what you get. These old houses that have uh, siding, it's just going to be a piece of siding. Now I know what they're going to ring up, so they're going to ring up just like an Indian head and a, and a wheat penny. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I came up to a yard that I did a couple of years ago. Really found some barbers and some uh, buffaloes and some Indian heads and just had a little extra time. So I thought I would come back up here and just kind of hunt this yard again and uh just got a real deep signal jumping around 19 to a 20 sound like an indian head penny and sure enough just uncovered it it looks like it's going to be yeah definitely going to be an indian head all right i don't know what's going to be yet let's see if we can uh clean it up a little bit without getting too much of the patina off of it what makes these coins really pretty is all that green all right I'm definitely going to see a date on it 1893 1893 Indian head all right that's a good start I didn't find anything at the other location and I came back over here I've got a couple more old houses I'm going to do later on if the rain holds off but uh, hey 1890 1899, 1899. Hey, I'm in 1800s anyway. All right, that's a good find. Let's do a close up and uh, we will uh, move on to the next one. All right, check it out, folks. 1899 Indian head penny. It's my first good find for today, but I've just, just my second yard. My first yard didn't have nothing but coppers, uh, modern day pennies, but hey, I'll take that. All right, let's keep on going. Well, I got another 20 signal right here. Got a lot of rocks in here. Just dug it up. Looks like it's going to be another Indian head. But I got another signal right there and right there. I think it's going to be a little Indian head spill. So, yeah, definitely going to be an Indian. Ringing just up just like an Indian. Let's see if we can get a, a date off this. Hang on. Let me, uh, let me see if I can get a date off of it. I'll come back to you. All right. It's going to be an 1892. Like I said, I've got another signal here I'm going to dig. I'm going to live dig this one. You can see it's a solid 1920. About six inches deep. Uh, right beside this other one. So let's, uh, let's get our mark. Let's see if we can just live dig this best I can. Keep you in film frame. A lot of rock in here. Let's get that up. It's falling apart. Let's see what we can come up with here. Okay, it's still down the bottom of the hole. That's a good sign. Got the depth I'm looking for. 
just got a lot of rock in here still down there oh you can't there it is right there I see it uh oh let me turn that off there it is like I said that's a live dig it's another Indian right there little Indian head spill that's an 1892 this is going to be a 1890 1890 Indian head penny two of them right there together all right I'm gonna recheck the hole and if there's anything else I'll turn the camera on and we'll keep on going I want to show you this I've left the two holes open watch this there's another one there another one there another one there So there's three more there's three more down in the hole down here yeah okay maybe one over on this side yeah that's a 14 there that's not gonna be an Indian head It's got a high pitch in it. We may have a silver down in there too. Let me, uh, there's at least three more Indian heads down there, possibly a silver. All right, let's keep on digging. Let's see what we come up with. All right, so there's one of them right here. Let's see if we can. There it is. Right there. Yep, another Indian. That's kind of worn. Let's see what this one's going to be. That's going to be a... Eighteen... Eighteen eighty-three? Is that what that is? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, eighteen eighty three, I think. Eighteen ninety, eighteen ninety, eighteen eighty three, and there's still at least two more down in here. Indian head spill. Let's keep digging. All right, keep searching. There it is, right there. All right, here's number four. Yep, that's an Indian head, one cent. Wow, four Indian head spill. I missed that last time. This is a 1897. 1897. I still got another signal here of one and a, a 14 signal on Equinox right there. And I haven't got over here. There may be more than four in here. All right, let's keep digging. All right, you guys don't judge me on this hole. I know it's a big hole, it's a spill, and I'm trying to dig a plug, but you can see those huge rocks are in here and that ground's just breaking up. So don't, don't comment saying you tore up the ground. Doing the best I can. Here's that 14, 15 that was in the hole. Piece of trash. And just uncovered. Yep, another Indian, number five. A five Indian head spill right here. This is gonna be a... All the other ones have been 18. Let's see what this is. I can't tell. This one's kind of eaten up a little bit. Looks like 1892. 1892. All right, I'll get these all laid out and we'll get a picture of all of them together. I'm gonna keep searching around here a little bit in case there's another one. The five Indian head spill. How about that, guys? All right, I'll take that any day. All right, let's keep on going. All right, there they are, folks. Five Indian head spill, all in the 1800s. I think that's the five. I dug one while ago. I might have got it mixed up. But anyway, that's the five that was here. And uh, right out of there, I'm going to search around a little bit more and see if we can't find any more. 
let's take a picture and uh, let's keep on going. Well, I moved on from that other house. I got six Indian heads over there. And uh, we're now over at this house right here. This is an early 1900s house. I don't know if you can see it, but right over there is the old railroad track that came through here. And so I have this whole big side yard, this yard, the back. I have that there. This is where the old town circus used to be, uh, right here. I have that house over there. I have all this property over here. So I've got several days of just detecting right in here. And this is right where the circus and the tracks used to be. So hopefully that's gonna be a, a, good, uh, a good time. So uh, let's get in here and see what we can find. Hopefully some silvers. They got Indians, but no silver yet so far. So I'm going for silver, barbers that is, and maybe seated. All right, let's keep going. I moved over from that house. I didn't get anything over there, but a couple of Wheaties and uh, kind of disappointing. I still a back lot I haven't done yet. So I came over here where the old circus used to be, the old circus grounds. And I felt, got, hey buddy, looky here. Look, come here, come here, come on. What you doing, buddy? Come here. Yeah. What's your name, boy? Hmm? Hey, a big old English bulldog came up to see me. Yeah. What's your name, boy? You got a tag on? Hmm? Yeah. We gonna make friends, aren't we? We gonna be friends, aren't we? Yeah, we are. Come here, buddy. Come here. Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. He done check me out, or she. No, he. Yeah, it's gonna mark his territory. Let me know whose it is. Yeah, buddy. You a you a pretty one. Yes, you are. You see the camera? Come on. It's okay. It's okay. It's all right. All right. Anyway, I was getting a, I thought a wheat penny signal, and I popped it out, and you can see it right there. It's gonna be a, uh, in the light. Definitely gonna be a silver rosy. All right, let's rub that rosy. 1952, there we go. Hey, I'll take that silver. It's not the old one, but I'll take it. All right, let's keep going. I just dug those two weedies over there, and that rosy over there came over here and just got a mercury dime. I don't know what date that is. I'll rub it just a little bit. Ah, right, let me clean it up and get back with you. It's gonna look like a 1946. First year. All right, that gives me uh, that gives me hope. Digging uh, three Wheaties out here, a Rosie and a Merc. That means there's going to be more out here. I'm gonna maybe grid this off a little bit better. All right, let's keep going. It's gonna be a while to get this one. These uh, dimes are ringing up really weird, but I got it right there. That's gonna be a. It's gonna be a Mercury. Yeah. Let me clean this one up and I'll get back with you. Yeah, they're gonna be, everything's gonna be in the 30s and I mean in the 40s and 50s here. And I think that's when that circus was here back in the 50s or the 40s. And, but they're ringing up really weird. They're, they're not ringing up like dimes at all. They're ringing up like a, maybe like a penny. And uh, they're very scratchy and very tarnished and they're very deep. Look at this hole. It took me a while to get it. All right, let's keep going. Well, I came over to another town and uh, doing a little metal detecting. I've got five yards and a vacant lot over here. And check out this house that I am doing. This is an 1890s home. And uh, looking for a gold bracelet here as well that her mother, mother lost many, many years ago. But isn't that a beautiful home? 1890s. All right, let's get to swinging and see what we can come up with. I was getting a 29. I'm out here by the sidewalk and uh, I spotted it right, right there. It's gonna be a, a Mercury. I uh, can't tell on the date. Uh oh, I always drop it. I can't tell. All right, I'll look at it a little bit later and see what it is. Let's keep on going. Well, I was just digging a hole and something terrible just happened. Check this out. You see that? 
my detector ears broke off. They broke off. Wisconsin trip has come to a close. And uh, I had a good three days. I didn't find as much as I really would like to have found, but it was good to get up here be around some old friends and uh, do a little detecting. And weather up here is just beautiful. Today, the high temperature was 49 degrees. Yesterday, it was like 52. It's just wonderful. The trees are all turning. And uh, so it's just really good to get out of Texas and come up here to Wisconsin and get some cool weather and see the fall foliage. But anyway, I, I found a few things. Let me show them to you. Let me turn you around. Well, here's all my trash. I dug a bunch of it. Most of that I dug not with the Equinox 800, but I dug most of the trash with the uh, Garrett Apex because I was trying to learn the machine, and so I wanted to dig everything, and so I was digging everything up and trying to learn the numbers and how it responds and stuff like that. Normally, I don't dig that much trash. I can tell what's trash and what's not, but being the first time on the Apex, I wanted to dig it all and see what I could find. So... Here's all my, my treasures on this trip. Not a whole lot to show for three days of digging, but it's it's okay. All a big pile of pennies. I don't know how many I have there. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, seven quarters. Got a silver plated spoon. Actually, I dug that in Missouri, so that doesn't go here. I dug a big brass. That ought to clean up and be in my collection really good. A couple of numbers and the letter R. I dug uh, 20 wheat pennies. And I got... Uh, six Indian heads all in the 1800s this is the first one that I dug the 1899 and those five were in the same spill that I dug and uh, got a debuckle some other little strap preacher digger got his cross I'm gonna clean that up and see what all that says on on it later on this is one of this is my favorite find of the trip the crotal bell it's my first one a couple of 1944d war nickels one 1952 rosie and uh, all the, the uh, mercury dimes are in the 30s and the 40s. And uh, so there it is, folks. That is all my treasures on this trip. Hope you enjoyed the show. And uh, like I said, the greatest treasure is not coming up to Wisconsin and digging them and put them on your tailgate. The greatest treasure what you can be found up in heaven. Keep searching. Keep looking up. Until we meet again, I just want to say happy hunting and God bless. <laughs>